Woohoo! Welcome to your five minute standing core workout. Yay! This workout is quick yet effective and you can do it anywhere because you don't really need equipment for it. If you want to intensify the workout, then grab yourself some weights. I have a 10 pound weight and a 15 pound weight with me. I'm not even sure which one I'm gonna use, but I'm going with the flow. So this workout is five moves, 45 seconds each with a 15 second rest slash transition time in between. You can do this workout as many times as you want. If five minutes is too short, do it again. Do it three times, I don't care. Just get her done. We're starting in 20 seconds. The first move is a sumo squat side bend. So get in sumo squat position with me. Feet pointing out, knees bent, butt down, hands behind your head, and we're going to crunch from side to side while we're stopping in the middle in five, four, three, two, one. Crunch, center, right, center. Really engage that core. You really wanna feel it in your obliques, those are your side muscles of your abs. If the squat is too much, keep going. If the squat is too much, you can stand up. You can hold the dumbbell in your hand, if, in your hands if you want above you, and you can bend just like this. You can side bend, standing in place. You can also put your hands behind your back, and you can crunch to the side by lifting your legs. All of these work. So let's get back into sumo squat position. If you can, five, four, two, one. Great job. The next exercise is an overhead march. I'm gonna use my 15 pound weight. Again, you don't have to use weights, just intensifies the workout. Put your hands and your weight overhead and we're gonna march in place. Here we go. Really engage those abs. You don't realize how much they stabilize you while you're holding something above your head or just holding your hands above your head and you're marching in place. This is why you don't have to do crunches. And don't forget to breathe while you're at it. Great job, 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Awesome. The next workout exercise is a standing crunch. Hands behind your head, right elbow to left knee, left elbow, right knee. We're starting in five, three, two, one. Exhale when you crunch. Inhale, exhale. Really engage the core. I'm gonna say that this whole five minutes. It's really important. And squeeze those abs when you go into that crunch. You should definitely be feeling your abs right now. 10. Five. Three. Two. One, great. The next move is a side to front crunch. Hands behind your head, we're gonna do side crunch, forward crunch, side crunch, forward crunch. We're going in two, one, side, forward, side, forward, side, forward. You guys, this is a full body workout. I even feel it in my legs. You can also use a weight for this, and I'll show you, keep going. You can hold the weight above your head, side, forward, side, forward, side, forward. Really gonna work on your balance. Side, five seconds, forward, one more, side, Forward, awesome. Last workout and you're done. Knee drivers, coming down like you're breaking that piece of wood. Karate chop in three, two, one. Whew. 
exhale on the trap. Got your core in for the day. If you're gonna do it again, you can just start over. 10 seconds. I didn't even get a chance to dance. Five, three, two, last one. We'll dance here. All right, you guys. Great job, high five. Way to go, way to get that done and show up for yourself. Awesome job. You can do this workout every single day and you can do it as many times as you please. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all the things if you enjoyed this workout and share it with others. And I'll see you later. Bye.